So we're here with Stanford offensive lineman David Bright. Yep. David, what's it? Tough win. Coach Charles told us, don't apologize for a win. But what, you know, what are your thoughts on you know coming out of Reeser last week? Yeah, obviously it didn't go the way we wanted it to, um, and you know we couldn't execute up front particularly uh, to get some stuff going. So you know it just it's tough to be honest. And you know thinking back on it. To me, it felt more like a loss, but of course, at the end of the year, it's a win. You know, a win for us is always is always great. So we work hard for those wins, but obviously, um, you know, we wanted to play a little better than we did. And I think this year you played three or four positions you know, across the line. You know, just that last month, we've seen you know, some of the most consistent and you know, the old Stanford Tunnel Workers Union, you know, uh, quality of play. How have you felt that consistently coming as you've shifted back inside and Walker has taken over at left tackle and, you know, AT has settled in at right? Yeah, I, I think we're all coming together um, well and just staying in those positions definitely help. But, you know, it's just us playing together, you know, five guys up front is what it takes for plays to be successful. And uh, that's what we've been really focusing on in our technique. And, you know, we saw, you know, last week Bryce was out. We had you know, Tre- Trevor Spades and Cameron Scarlett mm-hmm. taking, you know, all the stops at running back. Does that change your job as a lineman? Any, you know, knowing who's behind you, like, or is it, just, you know, execute, you do your job, and they take care of yeah, it? Yeah, not at all. Uh, it doesn't matter who's back there for us, honestly. We have the same mentality of how we're going to how we're gonna play, how we're going to block, and, you know, no matter who's running that ball, we should be able to, you know, get rushing going for us um, and pass protect as always. So, yeah, it doesn't matter who's back there for us. Okay. And looking forward to Washington State, you know, mm-hmm. give us a little preview of what you've seen so far in your tape. I think everyone knows of you know, Hercules on the yep. D-line. Yeah, but, definitely. I mean, uh, Washington's got a good defense, and, uh, you know, they move around a lot. So, you know, it's going to take everyone up front this week and, you know, the tight ends and the backs all being on the same page. And, uh, you know, they're fast, athletic, and, uh, you know, they pass rush well. So it's going to be a good challenge for us. We're excited, though, to get back on track. And then, you know, any kind of points of emphasis that you guys as an offensive line are looking to, you know, improve upon from last week and take into this week? Yeah, you know, we, we just got to take more of a leadership role, to be honest, and get stuff going uh, on the field because, you know, when we can run the ball well, then we're able to pass, and uh, we kind of take a lot of pride in that right now. And, you know, we feel like it, it was on us last week kind of being a letdown that we couldn't get things going. So we're just taking pride going back to sustaining blocks and uh, great technique. All right. That's uh, Stanford lineman David Bright. Thanks, David.